Hello everyone, Major Frenchy. How are you today? I did a video a couple of days ago about uh, FX3 Animated Back Glass. I had a lot of questions in the YouTube channel. People asking questions because they have no toys. Or whether they run it on a desktop or they have zero toys on their cab and want to run back glass, uh, animated back glass on their FX3. Today, this episode is for you guys. I created a new article. Uh, the link will be in the description below. I have the steps. Uh, it's actually from 1 to 10 with all the software required to run your back glass on FX3. Let's just get started, guys. And uh, there are a lot of steps. I just want to make sure that you are paying attention. And so that way you will not get confused and stuff will work. Step number one, you're going to install Visual Pinball X 10.6 that you will get from vpinball.com. Thank you very much, Randy R. and the Visual Pinball X development team for this amazing software. On the site, you're going to see the latest one. You're going to click, you're going to download it. And uh, once you, you have the uh, file extracted, just follow the prompts, use the default paths, and click Start, and just let it go. Install and update every software that it's requesting. And towards the end of the installation, you will get a prompt for the uh, back glass, the settings. Now, for this, guys, if you want to get the animated back glass, you need a second monitor. Uh, you, you, it doesn't work with just one, so you need two. And uh, this is where we're going to put the settings for both of them. So uh, right-click on your, on your desktop, and then you're going to go to Display Settings. And uh, you're going to see the uh, resolution for Display 1 and Display 2. Put that in the appropriate box, and you see where the it says uh, display settings, uh, back glass display, and it says uh, display one, and there's a drop down. If your back glass does not show at the right location, you may have to play with this. Uh, you're gonna rerun the setup uh, that you're gonna find in your table in your Visual Pinball slash table folder. Step number two: DOF Direct Output Framework. This is a software that was originally created by Swiss Lizard that's been updated by MJR. Thank you very much, MJR. Uh, that's his website, by the way. Um, all the links are in the uh, article. And then uh, you're going to find the latest version on his website. That's where I get mine. Uh, the link is uh, it's going to be in the description below, but also on the article. And then you're going to click the uh, you see the Windows uh, Setup MSI. Click that, and you will run the settings. This will install all the software required to uh, basically communicate with your back glass. So uh, if, even if you do not have toys or you do not have like solenoids contactor, you still need to install this folks. So that's a very important step. So click next. Use the default path. Very important for this setup, okay? Because otherwise you might just get some issues. So uh, click OK. and click finish and then it will put all the files under C drive and it's going to be called direct output and that's the main folders that was just created by the software. Step number three, Dufflinks. Dufflinks is a software created by DDH69 that will allow you basically to uh, have the animated back glass. Okay? For this article, I'm going to make it really simple. Uh, you will need this if you want the animated back glass. So uh, the latest version is on VP Forms. The link is in the description below. Also, it is in the article. And uh, you're going to install this. And you will, uh, once it's done, you're going to extract it in your direct output folder. So I'm going to extract the files in my folder here. And I'm just going to select all these files. Just going to delete this one. So select all. And we're going to copy it or cut on the C direct output right in here. So right click and paste. So here we are. So we have the different 
files required. Okay, now you will need to pay attention. So look at the sample INI folder. Uh, I want you to copy the top file. You see it says direct output config uh, color only dot INI. Copy this file and you will go in the config folder and paste it. All right. So that's that that will take care of uh, a lot of issues that I know you guys had. So DDH69 was uh, nice enough to actually create an empty one. Now go back in the sample.ini folder and you will click uh, select the file that says Dufflinks FX3 B2S bag glass only no toys. So copy this file and you will paste it in the root just here in the direct output folder. Okay, and then you're going to delete some of the titles. Uh, all you need is the uh, basically dufflinks.ini. Okay, just like this. Step number four editing the .ini. Uh, this is where a lot of people are having the issues. Guys, download Notepad. It's going to make your life easier. And then you're going to go in the config folder. And then, you know that file we just copied, the color only? Just copy the name of that file, okay? Because we're going to paste it in the .ini. Go in the uh, direct output folder, and you're going to look for the .dufflinks.ini. Right-click, edit with Notepad++. Okay, so uh, in the uh, .ini file, so what we're going to need to change is the uh, direct output config, uh, the file name. So we need to replace this with the uh, the one we just copied, which is the color uh, only. So then we're going to add the dot ini. There you go. So I'm just going to open a window just to show you um, the reference folder, and you can understand why we're doing this. So in that config folder, see that file? Is that file in the ini? Okay. So that's that's what it is. Okay, the second one, this is the path where the table FX3 that comes with the uh, system here. Uh, it's in that folder. See, it says FX3, but it's not. We can rename this in the INI FX3. It would work. But just to make it simple, I'm just going to keep the name in the INI file, and I'm going to rename that FX3 folder to match the INI file, which is dufflinks underscore FX3. Okay, so when you download this, guys, the Duff links, it's in there. Like all the FX3 tables, this is the uh, the, the code for the uh, Duff links to work. Okay. Okay, the next line that causes people a lot of issues is is this one here. Okay, the Duff links underscore FX3 underscore B2S. So I'm gonna copy the name because the folder doesn't exist. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new folder in here, and I'm just gonna paste. Uh, from within there we go so in that folder folks uh, what we're going to put is the animated back glass that we're gonna download I'm get, there's nothing in there we need to download them okay I'm gonna show you where to get them all right okay the line below is the path for the B2S server so it's in our visual pinball guys visual pinball and table folder that's where it resides okay so we're going to copy just the path from the the bar and we're going to replace it to the C and right click and cop and paste. There you go. So now we have the path for our back glass for the B2S server. Step six, guys, is to download the DB2S files, which is the animated back glass. I have a pack of all 91 back glass that uh, DDH69 authorized me to post. It's on the website. The link is in the description below. And also, you can uh, download individual tables, and that will basically link back to the original site, which is VP Forms. Um, this one here uh, is the default FX3. So when you just load FX3, that's the image that will be displayed on the back glass. So I'm going to download this, and I'm just going to put it in a just a temporary folder. And the first uh, table um, uh, back glass I'm going to download is Adventureland. So I'm going to uh, say thank you. Uh, and then if, if you want to leave a comment uh, to DDH69, he's spent a lot of time. So just saying thank you um, is just a, you know, a nice thought. So, And then we're going to download this. 
and uh, we're gonna leave it at the same place here all right I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna go to the uh, folder where I've just downloaded the files right, and I'm just going to extract the uh, the files in here And I'm just going to copy the content. So I'm going to copy both of these files in the direct output dufflinks underscore fx3 underscore b2s. That, that's where it goes. So I'm going to put the files here. And now, guys, we're ready to launch dufflinks. In the folder, I'm going to double click on dufflinks. And if you don't believe it's running, uh, just start the task manager and you will see it. Uh, it will run it won't really show you a program running so and uh, now you can just start FX3 um, I'm gonna launch it from Steam and then you will see that uh, we're gonna get the uh, two back glass I'm just gonna enable the uh, second screen here and then there you go automatically this is the logo we've just picked okay and I'm going to uh, launch the table, uh, which is Adventure Land. Now this is running from a small laptop. It's really, really laggy. Uh, the point was not to get uh, decent gameplay, it's just to show the steps. But I'm going to launch Adventure Land. All right, I'm going to put the back last full screen. And I'm just going to launch the ball. And then you will see that the animation uh, is going to be basically lights on the carnival legend at the bottom right. Uh, you're going to see different uh, characters in the table that I see. You can see right now it's starting to light up. So it's definitely not a static back glass. And events will trigger the lights somewhere on the back glass. Guys, I hope this is helpful. Um, I, I actually, I know I had a lot of questions, people saying, I don't have toys, I just want the animated bag glass. Here you are. Uh, it, just leave a thank you note to DDH69 when you're downloading the files. Um, he spent a lot of work doing this, and I want to thank you very much, DDH69, for, for making this available to all of us. Everything I talk about, guys, is available on the website. Uh, I have, uh, well, a lot of articles. I have some download section. I got media and so on and so on. Um, I actually invite you to come and visit the website. There's an interesting new section, which is the building zone. Uh, I have about 15, 20 uh, cab submissions so far. Uh, you can just click here and then... Uh, just put a little description of your build if you want to be, uh, you know, if you want to put a novel in there, go ahead. And then you can attach a lot of pictures and videos. And uh, once it's submitted, you will be featured uh, on the website. And then it is just great for people to get different ideas for cab building. Uh, I just like that idea. And plus, once you're done building, you're really proud of what you've done. So uh, this is the whole purpose of this section here. At the bottom, there's a button that will link you to our Discord chat group. It's, um, well, it's obviously geared towards virtual pinball. A lot of people in here, a lot of good people. Actually, DTH69 is one of our mod. So if you want to come and chat with him, he's in here. Uh, so if you have any questions about anything, uh, we have different topics. And then you can click on the category and ask questions. It's like texting. And uh, whoever's online can answer the question. And that's it, guys. Thank you very much for spending time with us today, and we will see you in the next video.